Joining us now as guest host for the entire show today, Jim Rogers, chairman of Rogers Holdings and author of A Gift to My Children. Uh, Jim, equity seems to be going higher. The Fed uh, saying they're going to keep rates and extended low for a period. Unemployment may still be a problem, but they're ending the MBS program. Here's the thing for investors, right? Rates are still going to stay low in the West. You get nothing for cash. Um, is that why equity markets are going high? Because you've got to do something with it? Well, Ross, first I want to tell you, I'm really happy to be here. I love to come to London. I can have English breakfast. This is the only place in the world where they have really good proper English. Proper cooked stuff. Proper. That's what yeah. I had this morning. That's why I'm here, if you really want to know yeah. why I'm up this early. Uh, and now, as far as currencies are concerned, well, most Western currencies, but most currencies everywhere are now very suspect. The U.S. dollar is a terribly flawed currency. Uh, well, you know, I wasn't talking about currencies. I was talking about stocks. Stocks are going high. Is that because... Uh, we're grinding high now, say 17 month high in the US. Is that because you're not getting much for putting it in the What I'm trying to say is, yeah, they're pouring huge amounts of money into yeah. the markets, the, the central banks around the world. They're printing money as fast as they can. That money's got to go somewhere. One of the places it's going is into the stock market around the world, not just in the US and in the West. Do you follow that? Are you going to follow that trend yourself? No, 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 no. I, no, I'm not. I, I, I have not bought any shares anywhere in the world since uh, November of 2008. Then I bought Chinese shares. I mean, I'm participating. I'm participating through currencies. I hope, and I'm participating through commodities. I hope. Jim Nicole Lappin in the United States. We also understand you're participating in breakfast with a banana and a croissant. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I also want to know if you are as keen on the Fed language as you are on breakfast. We heard yesterday Fed statement coming out saying the job market is, quote, stabilizing. And last month it was, quote, deterioration was abating. So what do you make of the new language? Nicole, I know you have to report these things. That's what financial TV is all about. But I don't pay any attention to the Federal Reserve serve at all. I mean, they're a bunch of bureaucrats. They've been dead wrong in nearly everything for, for years. This particular group of, on the Fed has been dead wrong for years. Fed's been wrong for decades. I don't pay too much attention to them. They don't know what's going on any more than most people do. So what are you hey, paying Jim, attention to? I pay attention to CNBC. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is there to pay attention to in the world? No, I pay attention to myself. I read, I think, I, I see what's going on around the world, and I, and I make decisions. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. And Jim, what do you feel about the U.S. housing sector? Do you think the worst is over there? And also, do you think a double-dip recession in the U.S. is less likely now? The U.S. housing market is probably going to tri trip along here at a low level for a long time to come. There'll be rallies, of course, and there'll be drops, of course. But the U.S., right, I mean, there's a lot of uh, excess inventory in the U.S. We had a huge amount of overbuilding. Whenever you have a bubble like that, Christine, it takes a long time to recover. It usually takes years. It goes like this, along a bottom for a while. That's what's going to happen there. There will be many more setbacks to come, I assure you. But I, the, as far as the U.S. economy... Look, what's happening is governments around the money, around the world, are printing a lot of money and spending a lot of money. If you get some of that money, you think things are much better off, and they are for you. You're better off. But somewhere, that money has to come from. And eventually, the people who are putting up that money, either through taxes or borrowings or printing, realize that things aren't better off, and then you have more problems. We will have more problems again, I assure you. Mm. When you say more problems, a double dip recession, is that a scenario you're factoring in? Well, I don't know quite what you mean by double dip recession. Yes, we're going to have another recession, I guarantee you. We've had recessions in the West every four to six years since the beginning of time. So certainly by, by 2012, say, it's time for another recession, if, if not before. So, of course, we're going to have more problems. And the next time, Christine, it's going to be worse because we've shot all of our bullets. What can the U.S. do next time around? Let's say in 2012 or 2011 or 2010, things start getting worse. What's the U.S. going to do? Quintuple its debt again? Are they going to print even more money? Christine, there are not any trees left if they keep printing money as fast <laughs> as they're printing money. We're going to run out of trees in the world. So America and England and a few other places are in a terrible bind. America cannot quintuple its debt again this year or next year or the year after if they have to. So the world's going to have some serious problems.